everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i am doing some simple updates around my home using items that i already had this video is also a collaboration video with my girl and fellow mobile homie francesca over at spilt juice boxes and i'll talk a little more about her channel here shortly but in this video i wanted to show you that you do not have to go out and buy a bunch of items to redecorate i accumulated items i had around my house that were no longer being used and i repurposed them so i didn't have to spend money on decor. So all of these items in my house are repurposed. I'm in the process of switching rooms with my boys so they are getting the master room and in the process of that switch I realized that the room that I have now is a little too small for my four poster bed so I went ahead and took down the four poster along with the sheer curtains that I put around it. If you don't know what I'm talking about I'll link that video below where I redid the master bedroom and now I will be redoing both rooms again because we switched but I just start out with washing down the walls and wiping where I'm going to be working I needed to add some texture in areas that needed to be touched up the texture in the paint I had found in my storage unit I forgot I had leftover texture from when Colt finished up the windows in the bedroom last year and a few months ago when I started painting behind my couch I purchased two gallons of this discounted paint at Walmart and completely forgot that I placed a gallon out in my storage shed and it was frozen it was like Christmas when I found it though I brought it in and defrosted it, stirred it up, and it painted just fine. You set my soul on fire. So like I mentioned before, this is a collaboration video. Spilt Juice Boxes is ran by Francesca. She's a single mom of four and she lives in a mobile home in New Jersey. And she is the queen of free and budget tips. Her YouTube is smaller as she just started it, but she has been successfully sharing amazing deals and helping moms over on her Instagram. I know she's going to do great things on her channel and she's very relatable, so I felt like the collaboration worked. You guys know if you've been here for a while, I don't care to be YouTube famous, just happy with my side hustle, and I will always support smaller channels than mine. I don't follow the mindset of does this benefit me. I can see her doing great things. She is very smart and determined and she's loud and proud and I love that about her. So check her out and tell her I sent you. I will link her video below. Ollie's gifted her with the opportunity to show her subscribers how much you can do with a small budget and she is starting a DIY series around that called Trailer Park Pretty. I think the name is hilarious. In her video she's redoing her living room wall and it is so adorable so go check her video out after mine and please tell her that I sent you. If you're over here from Francesca's channel or Instagram page, hello and welcome. Them, please drop a comment down below so I can say hello. I am Becca, a wife and mom to three. My husband and I purchased a 1976 Schultz mobile home right before the world went more wild than usual and we have been slowly remodeling it here on my channel. I also post cleaning and cooking motivation and just lifestyle type content. If that is something you're into, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will not miss my future uploads. I also want to mention that I know a few of you had reached out to me wanting to collaborate and at that time I wasn't consistently posting and just keeping it real, I do not remember who I told I would collab with or who even reached out to me because I do receive a lot of messages. If you are a cooking, cleaning, or fellow mobile homie, feel free to reach out for a collaboration. I will try my best to collaborate with those who ask because I'm all for supporting everyone, especially moms who are trying to make money for their family.
I've tried to train myself over the previous years to recycle what I have within my home before venturing out to buy new things just to avoid getting in that habit of purchasing new items all the time, wasting money, and then turning around and giving those items away or taking them to the dump later. I'm definitely trying, especially in the new year, to repurpose and save what I have, money that I could be saving for other things in my life. Let me know down in the comments if you too like to do that before going out and splurging on new items. Inflation has gone up so much here, but here where I'm at, specifically in Iowa, we've seen a huge increase in electricity, gas, and food. So my fun money has kind of gone down because of that. I have less money to spend on decor items. So I'm really in the new year focusing on repurposing what I have before buying new items. So it wouldn't be a video of mine if I didn't include shots of me cleaning because there is always something to clean in this house. On this day, I didn't have anywhere to be until later, so I wanted to clean before getting ready for the day. This is the next morning. I let the paint dry with the fridge out and the fan on it all night just so I can make sure it was dry. And then the next morning, Colt hung the shelves for me in the corner where I now have my cookbooks. <laughs> So I know you all see those potatoes. <laughs> right now, potatoes are on sale in my area. So I have been doing a lot of batch cooking and freezing, and I have been recording for you guys. I will have a meal video coming up shortly for you. I'm almost done editing it. So it should be the next video up after this video. Make sure that those notification bells are turned to on, because in my last video, I had mentioned that I received some messages that there was no notifications about me posting videos. So I'm glad 
glad you all let me know about that. I'm not sure what's going on with the algorithm. Be on the lookout for that next video. I think it's going to provide a lot of meal motivation. I'm trying my best to just pick up the camera and record any time that I am making a meal. It's been a little bit more difficult with the price of food lately to just shop all at once. I've been doing a lot of discount shopping. You're probably going to hear my son in the background because I cannot find a silent place to record this voiceover, but that's real life. Here I'm just finishing up cleaning the kitchen for the rest of the day. On this night, we were having leftovers. We are big leftover eaters in our house. We try our hardest not to waste food, so I always try to make enough food for dinner and enough for lunch the next day, or I will make enough in one meal for us to eat on it for two days. I'm always curious if people eat their leftovers. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you a leftover type of person, or do you just toss your extra food? I don't know why, but I cannot throw food away. Sometimes we will have a smorgasbord of leftovers just to finish it up. Like if there's only enough spaghetti for one meal, someone always wants the leftovers in our house from a previous meal. So as long as my family is fed and I'm not paying the drive through, I'm happy. Yo, you wanna put that dish in your mouth? <laughs> Okay guys, here it is. I spent nothing. The paint and texture was from last year. The curtain rods were switched from the boys room in my room. The curtains are from my bed. The menu sign was $19.99 from at home and I bought it a couple months ago. The travel motherhood sign and coffee mugs I showed you all in a previous consignment shop video. And the shelves are my old spice racks. I'm going to say a little prayer for these white curtains because you all know white does not last long in my house but it was free and we all know if it's free 
it is me. So it'll do for now. That's all for this video, you guys. Please drop a comment down below and say hello, and I'll catch you in my next one. You wanna stop?